Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today bringing our video, and today we are going over all of the weapons that I was able to find in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer reveal trailer. So some of these weapons I'll I'll go through. Some are repeats from Modern Warfare 2019. Now there is some, just to preface, there's some shots of what I'm just calling the gun room slash the selection character customization gun room customization screen where we do see kind of the armory. Now there's some repeat guns in that room that we can make out, such as the RAL, RPG, things like that. There's really nothing new there, so I'm going to not really discuss anything there. There are some shots of some weapons that I really can't make out just cause you can't zoom in much. Um, but I think we pretty much have gone through a lot of the weapons previously. So I will link the previous weapons videos that I've done. I did a all the leaked weapon videos that I'll link down below if you wanna see the full list that we are, are thinking is coming via leaks. Um, and I have some other videos, so I'll link those in the description below. Now, we have a pretty big list here in this trailer, so we'll go ahead and get into it. Just a side note, though, I will be on Thursday, I will be live for the episode of The Scope with Crash Games and Blue the Robot to um, dissect everything from Call of COD Next. That'll be Thursday night, so we'll be going through everything from Call of Duty Next. Um, and then Friday, I will be live with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer beta. So that'll be here on YouTube. Um, so make sure you guys tune in and check that out. I believe it's going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter and over in the Discord, which all those links are down below. So go ahead and jump into it here. Going through not in order of appearance, but more so alphabetical for the most part here. Um, the first weapon that we're going to see here is the Bushmaster ACR returning. So this is really good to see. We get some good shots of it here in the trailer. Um, obviously a Bushmaster ACR. So again, really good to see that returning. And again, this is one that we've, we've seen on the weapon leaked uh, list previously. So that's good. There's also one shot here of an ACR. What I believe in is an ACR. It could be a... Um, could be a CZ Bren 2 um, as a battle rifle variant. It's hard to tell, it's just slung on this guy's back. Um, but it definitely appears to be either potentially an ACR in 408 Bushmaster as a, as a battle rifle or a Bren 2 battle rifle variant. Hard to tell, we'll have to wait till we get hands on in the game. Next up we see the AN-94 of the or the Avdemont Nikonov making a return here. Same weapon we saw in Modern Warfare 2019 and a lot of previous Call of Duties. So, we see a shot of it here, at least what I'm I'm pretty sure is an AN-94. Again, we don't get the cleanest look at it here, but it is on our leaked weapons list. Um, this looks pretty much like an AN-94 to me, <laughs> minus the uh, the crazy uh, camo that's on there. But again, AN-94, Automat Nikonov, model of 1994. Make it a return here, really good to see that gun. Big fan of that with the hyperburst. Shave it a 5.45 by 39 millimeter. Next up, we see the CZ Bren 805. Um, making an appearance here, we see a good shot with Makarov using it and some other operators. Again, the CZ Bren 805, I don't think we've seen it in any previous Call of Duties. We have seen the uh, the CZ uh, Scorpion, which is also going to be coming to this game, which we've seen in previous trailers. But here in this trailer, we see the CZ Bren 805 make a few appearances. And again, we did see this in the uh, single-player gameplay, which they, they showed off last month as well. Next up, we did see this one in yesterday's uh, gunsmithing video, and we do see a brief shot of it here, at least what I believe is the Bullpup PKP Pechenegg. This is um, the conversion for the PKP in a game. We do see it slung on this operator's back here briefly. Again, not a great shot, but it does appear to be a Bullpup PKP Pechenegg here in the trailer. Next up, we have the Colt M4, chambered in 9mm. So again, this is another weapon that we've seen in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 as a conversion. So here it is, again, making a return here in Modern Warfare 3. The M Colt M4, chambered in 9mm as a submachine gun. So that'll be nice to see back. Next up on the, one of the vehicles here, we do see the Russian Dishka heavy machine gun. So this is a, a cool weapon to see. Typically, we just had here in Modern Warfare 2, like the, the standard Browning 50s on a lot of the vehicles. So here we get a Dishka, um, which shows a little bit more uh, featured Russian weapons and operators that we can see here in the trailer. So Dishka, really cool to see that weapon. Big fan of that machine gun. Next up, we see the H&K G36 assault rifle, or the Holger 26, as you may know it as, from Modern Warfare 2019. So, G36 assault rifle making an appearance here, again, quite a bit in this trailer. We've seen it in previous trailers here, as well as some of the single-player gameplay also. So, the G36 making it a return. 
We also have um, some Glock variants here. It looks like it's really hard to tell without getting hands on and looking at it more specifically, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say probably a Glock 21. We see pop up a few times here in the trailer. So we do see Glocks um, returning as we do in pretty much every Modern Warfare game. Then we do see a shot here of the Q Honey Badger um, being held by Makarov. So we do see the Honey Badger now. Just to preface it, it could very well be um, some sort of Daniel Defense type of ISR rifle as well, um, internally suppressed rifle. So it, it could be Daniel Defense weapon, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a, it's a returning Q Honey Badger. Again, really hard to tell. We don't have the best shot of it here in the game, but it most likely is the Q Honey Badger returning from Modern Warfare 2. Next up, we see one sniper rifle here prominently featured, um, which I originally thought potentially was the uh, Danel NTW-20, that which we saw in Black Ops Cold War. However, um, it looks to be the Steyr HS-50, um, 250 BMG. So we do see this one prominently featured, very similar to the NTW look-wise. However, it is a much smaller caliber where the NTW is a 20 millimeter. Um, this is a 50 BMG. They are both loaded from the uh, left side of the, of the weapon as well, instead of an under barrel magazine, which we typically um, see in a lot of the weapons here in a lot of the snipers and weapons in general. Next up, we do have a shot here of what appears to be some sort of M4 or AR-15 shotgun um, conversion. Not quite sure because we only see part of the receiver here. Um, I know some folks were thinking this is probably the XM7 or the Sig Sauer Spear, Chamber 6.8551, but these definitely look like um, shotgun slugs or shells to me. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is some sort of AR-15 uh, shotgun conversion um, that we're going to be able to make here in-game. Next up, we have the H&K MG36 light machine gun. So similar to the G36, this is the MG36, uh, um, just a longer, long barrier variant, similar to the G36E or the export version. However, this is a drum magazine, does have a deployable bipod as well. So again, this is the, um, this is the, the base holder 26 that we saw on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Next up, we see a returning Barrett MRAD from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So we, we already have this in Modern Warfare 2. I don't recall the in-game name for Modern Warfare 2, but here it is again in the trailer. We see it quite a few times, actually, the Barrett MRAD. Um, so that, that's nice to see that back. Obviously, we knew it was coming with all the Modern Warfare 2 weapons transferring to Modern Warfare 3. Next up, we do see quite a few shots of what appears to be the Remington uh, Model 870 pump action shotgun. So again, one of my favorite shotguns, um, really fun to use. So the 870 making quite a few appearances here in the multiplayer trailer. Next up, we see the returning RGL grenade launcher or the AV140 MSGL as it's called in real life. So the RGL making another return here. We saw this in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 and again here in Modern Warfare 2 and now in Modern Warfare 3. So the RGL making another return here. Now we do see a big magnum here. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering what this one is and leave it to the Russians to come up with a pistol like this. So this is the RH-12 excuse me, the RSH-12 Magnum. This thing is chambered in 12.7 by 55 millimeter. This is the same cartridge, um, or size cartridge that the Ash-12 or the Shock-12 or the Odin, as you may know it from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 is chambered in, and the VKS from um, COD Ghosts, I believe, that sniper rifle, which we could convert in Modern Warfare 2019. So the, the RSH-12 chambered in 12.7 by 55. This is a 50 caliber pistol, so that'll be... Um, Pretty deadly for sure. So that's that's one cool addition here to the game. Um, definitely a hand cannon. Next up, we have the Six Hour XM7, or as a lot of you may know it as, formerly the XM5 or the Spear. This is the winner of the U.S. Army's uh, NGSW, Next Generation Squad Weapon Program. This is uh, set to replace the M4, supposedly. See if that actually comes to fruition at a large scale uh, rollout. But the MCX Spear chambered in 6.8 by 51 millimeter making an appearance here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Next up, we have what appears to be this juggernaut holding a Striker 12, I want to say, or it could be also known as a Street Sweeper from previous COD games. Now, again, we don't have the best shot of it, so it's really hard to tell what it is. It could be some sort of variant of the Origin 12. Not really sure, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it's a Street Sweeper or a Striker 12 right now. Again, not the best shot. We'll have to wait and see uh, when we get hands-on for it, either in the beta or in the full multiplayer release. 
Next up, we have a shot of some really dope tactical skis. So that's making our first first appearance, I believe, here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Some tactical skis. Maybe we can bash someone with those things. That'll be cool. Next up, we have the HK UMP9, chambered in 9x19 9 Parabellum. So the UMP9, um, again, it's just a basically a smaller caliber variant of the UMP45, mainly for police usage. Speaking of, next up, we have what appears to be the UMP45. Uh, chambered in that 45 ACP. So the UMP 45 making an appearance here, which is really good to see. And then next we have the um, Uzi Pro slash Uzi Pistol. We saw the Uzi Pro, I believe, mainly in yesterday's weapon uh, gunsmithing video. And, and here we see, it's hard to really tell whether it's an Uzi Pro or an Uzi Pistol. Um, we don't have the best look at it for in-game, but um, it does look to be... It does like to be some sort of Uzi variant, probably an Uzi pistol or pro. So those are all the weapons that I was able to find here in the um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 trailer. Now, just some other things here operator-wise. We do see quite a few Milsim operators here in this in this trailer. So going through just some of the ones I picked out here, we see definitely some Shadow Company making an appearance. We see some Ergistan type operator making an appearance, which looks pretty Milsim-esque, which is really cool. We see Polish Grom coming in here, which looks really, really nice. Kind of similar to the one that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019, but definitely some differences, which is cool. Um, he's rocking that Polish flag. We also see what appears to be, and if it's true, I'm gonna be super pumped. Uh, my favorite operator from 2019, that being D-Day potentially returning. We have multiple shots here of D-Day or at least an operator that appears to be D-Day. Um, I'm thinking it looks very similar to Blackbeard from um, Rainbow Six Siege. I see a lot of people making those jokes, but it does look like it could potentially be um, D-Day making a return here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We see some really good shots of him, especially from the back. Even though they're blurry, he's got like an American flag rolled up on the back, but this is definitely a really, really nice looking Milsim skin, which whether it's D-Day or not, I'm definitely going to be rocking it. After that, we see what appears to be Kruger making a return from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, lending more credence to the fact that potentially that is D-Day that we're seeing, but Kruger definitely appearing to be making a return here. He is a another Pol uh, um, uh, not Polish, I uh, can't remember off the top of my head what country Kruger was, was from, uh, something with an A, uh, Austrian operator. So Kruger definitely making a return here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And then we do see um, what appears to be a German KSK Milsim operator here as well here in the game. So that's everything I was able to pick on the trailer. Let me know down below if I missed any type of operators, um, Milsim type operators, things like that. I thought one thing, just my overall thoughts, we did see good balance of like Milsim and, and you know, goofy elaborate operators, which is completely fine. I think the Milsim operators that I saw just this trailer, I am super pumped for. All the weapons I saw are really, really good. I think overall the trailer, I loved it. I thought the trailer was awesome. They did a great job. Um, everything looked really, really cool. So I'm definitely really, really excited to see what's going on with COD next. We do see some shots of what looks like that new war mode as well as uh, the new Warzone map, which they should be taking place on the same map. And, and that looks very... Um, very much like an urban map with with obviously a good balance but that's why i think i love verdansk so much is because it was mainly it had like a lot of urban areas and then you had open areas and it looks to be kind of what we're seeing with this new map so we'll definitely get more um eyes on that here thursday at cod next so that'll be really good but um given that the fact that they're not bringing over at least now that we know of dmz to call duty modern warfare 3 they're just going to continue to support it in modern warfare 2 um if they have a good urban type map similar to Verdansk in, in ways, I'm going to be all over Warzone again. So that will be really cool to see what they do with this, the war mode. Um, and again, I'll be having hands on the beta right when it comes out on Friday. So stay tuned here to the channel um, for all of that. So let me know down below what you guys thought of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 trailer overall, what you thought of the weapons what you thought of the operators. Give me your opinions down below. I thought, like I said, overall, I'm really, really happy with the Milsim type operators that we got. I think Modern Warfare 2 was really, really lacking um, with actually giving us real, real Milsims. They did some like more grounded type operators, but just never really nailed the same Milsim one-to-one -one stuff that they did in Modern Warfare 2019. So it appears to be that's what they're doing here which is really great. Also, channel memberships are live. I'll leave that link down below in the description. There's three different tiers. You guys get some different perks and especially a little bit of discount on some of those tiers for merchandise when those come out later here in October. 
We have eight total members, so shout out to our newest member, um, Ram Rapster. Big shout out to him, just joined the other day. We have KDog350, Strike and Storm, Man Named Nobody, Aiden Flores, This Justin, FPS Cannon Fodder, and Noodly Boyo. So shout out to them. You guys can join down below if you would like. If you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Again, best way to support the, the channel itself is not to become a member. It's just like the video, um, make sure you subscribe, comment, and um, share share the content, things like that, and watching the ads definitely is what helps the most. So all that together helps. Big shout out to everybody, appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the trailer and the content. We're gonna be having a lot coming. It's gonna be a busy, 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 busy next uh, couple months here. So um, let me know your thoughts down below, and uh, we are pumped for COD next in the beta this week. Till next time, Buckner Gaming out.